We've all heard, hey, just warm up, you know, just get loose, warm up. But what does that really mean? What does it mean to warm up your jump shot? Well, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to warm up your jump shot before every single game or before every single workout. I try to follow this to the best, you know, the best I can, but this is just a general framework. So you can adjust it however you need to, but try to focus on these different drills. The first drill we're going to cover is the simplest, that being form shooting around the rim. So all you're going to have to do for this is just be like one foot away from the rim and just start shooting the ball with either one hand or just have your guide hand on the side, but don't make it affect the shot too much and just swish the ball. That's it. Just have different spots around the rim. There's seven. One on the, two on the baseline because one on each side and then one step around that, one step around that, and then one in the middle. Just do maybe like make 10 to 15. Try to make them all swishes if you have time. When I don't have time, I just try to make 10 because, you know, it's easy. But try to do 15 swishes if you have time. Like it's right before a workout or something. Do 15 swishes. I did this in the summertime. So what I would do is I would do my seven uh, form shots around the rim or seven sets of form shots around the rim. And then I would make it three spots, so one on each baseline and then one in the middle. And I would take a step back after I switched 15. And I would take another step back and then another step back. By the end of it, I would end up, you know, swishing 400 shots. So that's an excellent warm-up for your jumper. And that was the biggest change that I made and found such great results with. Next up, we're going to talk about Shaquille O'Neal's favorite shot, that being the free throw. So I would recommend before a game, like if you don't have much time, just try to make 10 to 15 free throws, right? It doesn't have to be anything crazy. You don't even have to swish them. Just get them in. Get get the mind-muscle connection. Get your everything just all loosened up and ready to play. Just make 10 to 15. Don't go crazy with this. Unless it's before workout, then make 100. That's what I like to do. Or shoot 100 and see your percentage. I did this every single day, or at least I tried to over the summer. And I probably missed maybe like 15 days in total throughout the whole summer. But I would get my percentages, and if one day I would get 94 out of 100 free throws made, and I would try to beat that. But then I would get like 80, and then I would try to boost my percentages. Compete with yourself. Try to better yourself every single day. Next one up is hop shots. So the goal with this is to put the ball in different spots on the court and just flip it up to yourself, right? Just run to different spots and flip it up to yourself and catch it and then just catch it on the hop. Boom, right? You, you're not going to be stationary with this one. You're going to be on the move, and you're going to stop on a dime with a little hop. Catch that ball and shoot as quick as you can. Catch and shoot while keeping good form. Also, I was watching a Duncan Robinson shooting workout, and I started to incorporate this into my game. What he likes to do during his shooting workouts is he'll be facing sideways of the basket like this, and then he'll do a hop. And when he does the hop, he faces straight up, and then he shoots. It's hard to do a demonstration in my <laughs> bedroom in a chair, but I'll try my best. So ready? Catches the ball, whether it's a coach passing to him or he flips it to himself. Catch. Jumps in, jumps this way. Ready? Catch. Boom. Jump again. Boom. And shoot. Hey, bro, do me a favor real quick. Please subscribe because I'm really trying to grow this channel. Thank you. Also, if you're struggling with rhythm on your shot... Here's another uh, drill I recommend. So, you're going to be stationary for this one, but you're just going to jump straight up and down five times. But you're going to hold the ball above your head. Straight up above your head, just right here. Ready? So you have the ball. I'm going to lower my chair so you can see this. Ready? So you have the ball up here. You're going to jump. One, bring it back down. Two, bring it back down. Three, bring it back down. Four, bring it back down. Five, bring it back down. And on that fifth one, you're going to raise up to shoot. But it's very quick. One. Two, three, four, five, shoot. Right? It's all about different rhythms and different timings on your jumpers. Because in the games, you're not going to have the time to be just sitting there. All right, let me just wait for a second. Let me loosen up. Right? Let me flip the ball to myself. No. It's going to be different situations every single time. Get used to it. This is a bit similar to the hop shots, but I really like this one because it gets different angles involved. And you don't need a coach for this one either. You don't need somebody to pass the ball to you. What you're going to do is you're going to find different spots on the court. I like to just choose around the mid-range area, and I put the ball on the ground. And as it's on the ground, I run towards it and pick it up in stride. Don't slow down. Pick it up in stride, one-two step, and shoot. 
right? Nothing fancy. Just pick it up off the ground and shoot. And it has to be one motion. You can't drop down and then stay down and come back up and then drop down. No. Go down, scoop it up, and shoot. It's an excellent drill for getting your rhythm. All right, this may be the most important tip in this video, so pay attention. The final tip, stretch. I want you to stretch before every single game, every single workout, anything that you do, stretch out. Whether it be just doing a couple of these, right? A couple of these, whatever you gotta do, just loosen up the muscles. That, like, of course, that's such a broad phrase or you know, vague, but stretch, okay? You know stretches. Don't play dumb like, oh, what stretches should I do? You can look it up. Figure it out. Find the different muscle groups that you got to stretch for jumpers, right? Use your legs, right? So you got to stretch your legs. Uh, maybe you use your shoulders. So you got to, you know, loosen up the shoulders. Do some stretches with that. Just stretch. Because with basketball, consistency matters. So if you want to be able to have a shooting workout this day and then do it the next day, you can't be sore. So stretch. Or at least fight through the soreness then. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you got some value from this. And hey, the next time you do a shooting workout or you're about to get into a game, do these things. Remember it. And have a great performance. As always, thank you for watching. Keep God first. Good luck.